If you're a video editor and you want to improve your quality of work and your overall editing experience, then you're going to want to consider some of the tools that we use in our video production company to help us produce high quality work for some global clients. Now we've got some items here that range from anywhere from $5 all the way up to a few hundred dollars. So we have something for everyone. So no matter what your budget is, some of these tools can really, really help you increase your overall quality of work that you deliver for your clients and make your user experience that much more better so you enjoy editing every single day and it makes your life easier. If that sounds like something you wanna learn more about, then make sure you stick around to the end because you're not gonna to wanna to miss some of these game-changing items. Now, a very quick introduction. My name's Ross Welch and I'm the owner of a video production company based here in the UK. And we produce content for brands all over the world, such as Monster Energy, Team GB, Sixth Rent-A-Car, Black & Decker, DeWalt, Bacardi, just to name a few. We've recently moved into our brand new studio, we've started to expand our team and we've launched the Perspective Academy, which is an online coaching platform that helps filmers, editors and photographers grow their businesses. So it's fair to say we know a thing or two when it comes to video editing and how to get the best out of our content. And all of the tools that I'm gonna show you today are tools that we use in our studio now. And by the way, guys, I'm gonna link everything in the description below so you can follow them through and check out these items for yourself. Now, first up is something that I recommend that every video editor has. And if you're a beginner, chances are you're probably avoiding this due to some kind of cost, but please, please, please don't do that and I'll explain why. This is a RAID external hard drive. It's a Western Digital MyBook Duo, and this will set you back normally a couple of hundred pounds here in the UK. But you have to ask yourself, what is the cost implications to you if your hard drive that you're editing on at the moment was to fail? Now the advantages of having a RAID set up like this is that you can mirror the hard drive. So inside here are two hard drives. Let's say you've got two four terabyte hard drives, and it will be simultaneously as you're editing, it will be copying the data onto the second hard drive. So if one of the hard drives fails halfway through your workflow, then you've got a backup. All you need to do is take out the faulty hard drive, replace it with a new one, and it will start to basically repair that, copy the data across, and you've got everything you need from the point where the hard drive failed in this box. Now, some people might have a hard drive that they're editing from and they back it up at the end of every day, but if you've been working on that project for eight to 10 hours, how is that gonna have an impact on your business if that hard drive was to go down? Or even worse, if you forget to back it up, then you're missing out on a couple of days. What is the cost to you? Are you still gonna be paid for that bit of business if you lose all the data? That's why investing in something like a RAID setup, um, or again, I'll link this in the description below, this is an absolute game changer. And since we've been using this and now moving more onto further server storage and things like that, it really has made us wonder why we ever did work just on single hard drives. The risk is phenomenal to your business, so don't take the risk, invest in a RAID formatted hard drive. Something like the MyBook Duo is a plug and play system and something that you can use straight away. We do edit from these hard drives as well, so we know the editing speeds are completely fine to get on with from a video production point of view, and it's ultimately all about how secure is your data? Now next up, something that's overlooked by a lot of aspiring video editors is a good quality pair of headphones. Now, you actually don't need to spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on good quality like Bose headphones, for instance. We have some Sennheiser headphones that are industry standard and they will set you back 100, 150 pounds, something like that. However, these, and again, I'll link these in the description below, I think these were about 30 or 40 pound and these are really, really good quality headphones. Um, they're not built particularly robust, they're not the sturdiest, um, especially if you're wearing them every single day. But the importance of having some good quality headphones means that you can really immerse yourself in the edit. And you should be thinking about bringing on sound effects into your editing structure as well. So once you've edited the main video, what kind of sound effects can you use to bring it to life? Now, if you're not particularly aware of your audio levels and how they actually feel for the user end experience, then how are you gonna know what it feels like when someone plays it through their laptop versus a pair of in ear headphones versus another pair of noise cancelling headphones. So try to invest in a good quality pair of headphones and it will change your editing experience. It will make it so much more immersive for you and you'll get a really good understanding of how it feels on each device so that you can compile the best video and user experience possible. If you've ever been editing away for hours and you find that your eyes start really hurting, perhaps you start suffering from headaches, then you want to consider getting one of these. This is 
is the BenQ Screen Bar Plus. And this is effectively a light that sits on top of your monitor and it helps with all of those negative impacts from staring at the screen too long. This is something that we didn't actually use in our business and BenQ were kind enough to send us one of these to trial out and give a review on. And as a result, it's actually something that stayed within our business. And we've got more on order for our other editors too because it's changed our experience so much. Now, one of the main things about this is the build quality feels super nice. It's not a cheap bit of equipment. It's a bit like when you buy a brand new MacBook or, or an iMac. It has that really nice kind of finish and you can feel that it's good quality. And it also comes with this really nice desk button. If you press the desk button, you turn it on and you've got yourself a handy little lightsaber or perhaps you can do some light paintings or something like that with this. And effectively, it sits over your top of your screen. It has a nice weighted design clamp here and this will fit any monitor that you've got or any PC or Mac that you've got as well, it just sits over the top very nicely. Now, due to its design, it means that you've got no glare on the screen. Unlike traditional editing lamps, it doesn't have a flicker and it also has a blue light filter. So this is deemed to have no blue light, so it's safe for you as well. Due to its design, it gives you zero reflective glare off the screen and it also has an auto dimming built-in ambient light sensor, which means that it will adjust depending on the brightness in the room. And if that's not enough you also have the option to dim it yourself as well as changing the color profile on the product so it will go from a nice blue light like this and I press the button and then it will start to go to more of a tungsten or orange light as well and again this is something that we didn't have in our business for many years and since having it it's one of those things you look back on and think why did we never have one of these before it's changed the overall editing experience for our team here and it's something that we will continue using in our business as well it's plug and play so you literally just plug it in through USB, put the dial on your desktop and you're ready to go. So we're now down to our final two items. And this next item is for any aspiring video editor or beginner out there that's just getting started. I would 100% recommend that you get something like this. This is just simply a keyboard cover. Now the keyboard cover is only a couple of pounds off Amazon. If you lay it over your existing keyboard, it will give you all of the shortcuts you need for a specific editing program. So we use Adobe Premiere Pro here in our production company. So we have got the keyboard layouts for Adobe Premiere Pro. Now I'm sure you'll agree with me that time is money. So you want to edit these videos as quickly as you can to the highest standard possible. And if you don't know what your hotkeys are for your editing programs, then unfortunately you're gonna be doing it the long way. And by having something Something simple like this it enables you to see very quickly what your hotkey buttons are so you can switch between certain tools you can edit your in and out timelines and bring it into the sequence overall increasing your efficiency and it's something very very simple that you can get for a couple of quid and I recommend if you're just starting out that that's exactly what you do now finally this is something that is more for you seasoned editors out there but you don't want to overlook how powerful this tool is if you're aspiring video editor and that is screen calibration. Now there are many different types of screen calibrations online. We use the i1 Display Pro Plus. And what this is, is it's a little device that sits over your screen to make sure that the colors are calibrated correctly. If you've ever been editing a video and think, well, this looks completely different on my phone as it does on my MacBook, as it does on my PC. And then you need to start questioning, well, when I send this over to the client, what are they watching this video on? Because if they're watching the video on a very uh, yellow monitor, then what's the overall experience gonna be like for them? Are they gonna think my work is any good? And perhaps then they might actually think you're not as good as you are based on the facts. The device they're viewing it on has completely different color settings to what you're currently editing in at the moment as well. Now there's no real way to create a video that's optimized for every single device out there. If you line up a Samsung next to an iPhone, the color spaces are very different. So exactly the same video is going to feel slightly different. However, if you are editing on a machine that is, let's say has a lot more blue in it, then 
If you're editing to that and you pull it on a screen that has a lot of yellow in it, it's gonna look completely different. Perhaps your warm tones are gonna be even warmer, so therefore things are not gonna look white, they're gonna look very yellow. And that's a huge risk, because that can be hugely damaging to you, whether you're a freelance video editor or you have your own business. What the calibration tool allows you to do is set parameters so that you can find a happy medium, something that ticks the boxes on most of the devices so that you know when you edit a video together, you've got a 90% chance of getting it right across all of the devices and particularly the devices that your paying customer is gonna be viewing it on. Again, this is something that we didn't introduce into our business right at the start. And we did start to question why our clients were saying that our colors looked a little bit more yellow than what we were seeing on our screen. And it was because our screens weren't calibrated correctly. So we invested in the equipment and you've got it for life. I can now calibrate any monitor we buy for the future. And that was a game changer for us. And it meant that increased the overall quality of our video editing work. Now, depending on what point of business I've been in, each one of these items that I've said today have been game changing for me. And they are things that we have personally used and continue to go on to use as well. There's certainly things that I know people as part of the Perspective Academy, my online course have struggled with in the past as well, which is why I wanna give you as much valuable information as you can so you can test any one of these things or maybe you just go away and get a couple of the things that are most suited for your business. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, then please make sure you subscribe and support the sponsor of this video BenQ. Like I said, they were kind enough to send us the BenQ Screen Bar Plus for free for us to give a review on. And as a result, we liked it so much that we're keeping it within our business and ordering more so that each one of our editors can benefit from the same user experience. If you're looking for more valuable content, then click the video right here, as this is a series we did on video editing. Make sure you leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel. And let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below. Until next time, peace.